So I'm just in the city at the moment, trying to make a film. Let's talk about sales. Before I get into the video, make sure you smash that subscribe button, okay? Subscribe to my channel and let's go. Man, it's such a beautiful day today. Perfect weather. Well, I went out last night and I was talking to my friend. He's, uh, he's an engineer. He's moving to another company because there's a lot more opportunities and he's taking a bit of a pay cut. But I said to him, why do you want to do that? He goes, oh, there's more opportunities, there's more, more projects uh, because the current company, there's no, not many projects. And I said, oh, that's because salespeople, they're not really that good at their job. He goes, yeah, they haven't got a projects. It's been about like a year and a half or something since they sold anything. Then they're not doing something right. So that's the reason why my friend is moving to another company because a salesperson is doing a lot better job. That is a really good lesson. Salespeople are paying the salary of other people. So it's really good to be good at sales. So the train is here. Yeah, boy. Let's go to the shit here. On the train. This station. Doors <laughs> closing. Let's go to the shit here. Yeah, let's go. Alright, so I'm in the city right now and in this video I'm going to show you the importance of the reason why sales is critical and important to everyone's well-being. So let's go. Each apartment has someone living in there. This is in the city, so the city, this I'm in Sydney, Sydney right now. Each of those apartments is probably worth about a couple million, but to rent it out it's about a couple, maybe about a thousand a week. Check this out. Look at this, look at this banner, Frozen. Drop everything and get tickets now. Do you think that's a good sales piece? So they're trying to sell tickets. So that banner was trying to sell Frozen tickets. Looks like if you don't sell, you're gonna end up homeless. What would you like to do? I'd like to draw. Yeah, that's the sound of money. Yeah. Learn how to sell, learn how to get money like this, okay? Learn how to sell, learn how to get money. I'm in the city, checking out the stores. 3 gig, the borrow is selling 3 gig, 14. The borrow is 75 gig, 29.90. I was loaded 10 million, 10 million this Tuesday. I want to win the lotto, don't have to sell anymore. So check out these properties. Okay, these are pretty interesting properties that are selling in, in the city. They have to get really good at sales, they have to meet people, promote it using these windows and if they sell they get a big commission pretty good yeah i see a lot of uh, real estate agents in the city they're selling a lot of uh, real estate properties a lot of properties in the city that's worth a few million so it can be really expensive also renting here is really expensive as well but once again you got to be good at sales so you try and get these customers right and if they don't sell then the agency falls apart they don't get income they don't get commissions cause a lot of problems. Sunday morning in Sydney is pretty dead at the moment to be honest. Oh man, look, look at this, look at this company called Sand. Looks like they either closed off. That's not good to see. So they couldn't sell, these guys couldn't sell. Another one. Sorry, we are closed. That's what happens when you can't sell. You close the shop, look at another one. This one is fully closed as well. They couldn't pay, they couldn't afford to pay the rent. This one's for lease, okay. Poor lease. Also, like all these businesses along here can't sell. Alright, so that's why it's really important to learn how to sell because if you can't sell, then you can't pay the rent, you can't pay the rent, and then you have to shut down the store as I've just shown you. This is the real deal, guys. You know, it affects everything. It's not like something that you muck around with. If you don't know how to sell, then you can't bring in money. You can't bring in money, you can't set up stores in the city in the city okay so it's really important for lease yeah so I'm just walking around in the city and I notice there's a lot of shops that's closed 
lot of shops that's closed, a lot of shops that's for lease. It's just a clear indication that sales is lagging. It could either be not enough customers or the salespeople just don't know how to close and can't get enough sales. But in those times, obviously, businesses shut down, uh, managers lose their dreams, people's incomes get cut in half. So it's a big problem there. You have to really recognize that sales is everything. So those guys have a job in the city. City seems a bit dead at the moment. Just looking around. So I'm just walking around in the city. Sydney Arcade. Let's have a look. Just trying to film some stuff. That's, that's a big oh, this is interesting. Some sort of thing. All right, so I've shown you what it looks like in the city. It's not a pretty sight. Um, some, some stores are open and a lot of stores are closed due to the pandemic or they just can't get enough sales. So you can see that sales affects everything. It affects your income, affects other people's income. And if you don't learn how to sell, then you know obviously it's gonna affect it. So, so obviously if you don't sell, then it's gonna be affecting. All right, so I've finished uh, walking around the city and uh, you can see that there's a lot of stores that's closed, um, mainly due to either due to the pandemic or just not enough customers. And it's a bit sad to see, unfortunately, because a lot of people have um, many dreams of having their own business and now they have to close. So it's a, it's a very scary thing to see, but um, it just shows you the fact that if you don't learn how to sell, then you can't produce income. Uh, no one gets paid, no one gets income, no one yeah, can put food on the table. So that becomes a big, a really big issue. And so yeah, in those situations, I, I think that if you learn how to generate leads, then you're pretty much good to go. Notice with businesses that they don't spend enough time investing into sales. A lot of people who I've spoken to today, they don't really greet you. They, they, they don't really look after you, right? So when you talk to them, it's not really good customer service. So therefore, I think it's really important to work on that customer service and get the customer's details, send them marketing emails, put them on a membership site, put them on a membership platform, and keep bringing in more sales. That's one way to increase sales. So seeing Sydney like this is a bit scary. There's a lot of stores that's closing down. And it reminds me of Perth. Perth was used to be really, uh, really busy with a lot of businesses open, but these days it's a lot of companies have closed. And Sydney's is doing the same thing too. But I think that if, if you boost up your sales, improve your sales, then you shouldn't have a problem. Uh, reduce your expenses and you know, invest in this good sales team to drive up the sales and to pay for income. One way I think you can survive in business is if you reduce your expenses, then you can last longer in business. If you reduce your expenses, then the sales team doesn't have to stress out too much. I noticed that the really expensive jewelry stores like Cartier, um, they're still selling, man. Like, there's a lot of businesses that's shut down, but the big expensive jewelry stores, they're still open. They're still selling, they're still getting customers. Just goes to show that they're doing something right. They got a great sales team. And they know how to sell. The margins are really good. Look at that Rolex, man. Check out the Rolex. Beautiful Rolex. Save up to 50% off. So that was David Jones. David Jones is still selling. It looks like vanity is a good business. If your product is really expensive, you got high margins, then you don't have to sell so many units. Another thing that's scary is, let's say that you're, you've got a cafe store and you have to sell coffee. Coffee is only, what, $3, $4. There's not much margin in coffee, so you might make about $2 per coffee. But if you're living in, if you're if you're renting out in the city, which is expensive rent, oh man, how many coffees do you have to sell to pay for your rent and salary? It's really ridiculous. So try and get into a business where the uh, the margin is a lot high, like those jewelry stores. Man, ten grand, five grand. You can sell a couple of them, and you're good to go. So cool, man. It's like some sort of bells. It's ringing. Can you hear it? It is Sunday. Make sure you learn how to sell. Make sure you learn how to sell, boys and girls. Learn how to sell. One thing annoys me in uh, in retail. They don't really 
treat you with much respect. They don't really care too much about you. They just care about themselves. And they're not really nice to you, right? And it's enough for you to drive, be driven away from the store. And as a result of that, you don't get customers. You don't generate any sales. So the customer service is really important. And without it, you're not going to get any customers. You're not going to get any income. You can't bring up your business, right? So you're going to be closed in a matter of months. So make sure that you always have good customer service. All right, make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. Sign up to my YouTube channel. Got lots of great videos on sales, training, marketing, finance, and more. All right, so hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.